Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about NatCat but, but before discussing NatCat let's uh, read a short disclaimer that this information which is presented in this video is only for information and educational purpose and you are not supposed to uh, practice it or use it for any illegal or malicious activity. NatCat. NatCat is a command line based tool that is used to read write data over TCP or UTP connection. And this is also known as Swiss Army knife tool. It's very important. This is the reason that the name has been given to it, I think. So this can be used to create open door and this can be used to transfer files between two machines. And there are many uses, but I have taken some of its uses, basic uses, which will I which I'll be discussing and demonstrating in Kali Linux. So some of the uses which I'll be discussing here in this video are port scanning, banner grabbing, and port listening, and transferring files. And finally, we will also demonstrate how to use this as a backdoor. Before moving to my virtual machine, that is Kali Linux, I'm going to show you the setup which this will I be using. So I have Kali Linux virtual machine in my VMware environment. You can have in this in virtual box. And I also have another machine that is Meta Exploitable 2. And Meta Exploitable 2 is actually a vulnerable machine that is for learning pur purpose. So it's very effective security training tool. I would recommend you to download it and practice it. And I'll put the description to download this Meta Exploitable 2 machine in my description section. So with this setup, let's move to the VMware, uh, the virtual machine. Okay, so now to demonstrate the use of NatCat tool in this Kali Linux machine, I have this virtual machine that is Kali Linux and addition. I also have this Metasploitable 2 machine. And you can see after downloading uh, and importing this in your virtual environment, we should have this window like this. So you can download it and I'll put the description again in the description section. And you see here, they have given the login details for this. You can see this is the MSF admin is the username and MSF admin is the password for this machine. Maybe if you want to enter there, maybe MSF admin, I just want to click there. MS, MS, F -A -D -M -I -N, MS admin and MSF admin. And now we entered there in this uh, Meta Exploitable 2 machine. So first I want to show that what is the IP address for this machine. And for that, I just am going to copy here ifconfig. And you can see the IP address for this machine is 192.168.133.6866.133. And in the same way, I uh, let me show you the address here. So that is here. This IP address is 192.168.66.138 of this Kali Linux machine. And to use NetKit, we just have to write NC, which is short for NetKit. And if you don't have this, for example, at the moment this shows green in color because I have this NetKit uh, there. But in Kali machine, most probably you will have this already installed. But if you don't have, then just you have to run this command that is sudo apt and install and then NetKit. It will install it. On your computer okay so this is simple we can start I mean we can install it on our machines but we already have so I'm not going to install it let's uh, delete this and the first is we are going to um, scan we, we are going to use this NatCat for port scanning and for this we have uh, and yes before that if you want to get some help from about NatCat so we can just nc and minus h so it will display the help for us so we can have here help that uh, this is first for example this is the version and then if you want to connect somewhere then this is the options and host them but i mean we, we you can go through this one okay now to scan certain computer with certain ip address we have this command that is nc and then we say minus z so minus z indicates to only scan the port without sending any data, for instance. And then we have the verbose mode minus V, so verbose output for additional details. It will be giving additional details. And then we say that do not use uh, um, DNS lookup. So this will speed up it. It will not go for DNS. And after that, we can give the IP address. For example, in my case, I'm working in virtual environment, so I'll be using IP address of 
this uh, meta exploitable machine and that is 192.168.66.133 after specifying the IP address I can specify the port or port ranges which I want to scan so for example I'm going to say port numbers from 1 to 100 so this is the port range and then we just press enter so now you can see we got some scanning result it says that on this meta exploitable machine we have http port open 53 domain open 50 25 open so these are the ports which lies between 1 to 100 port numbers